hello viewers, I want to thank you for being part of Apex Online Computer Training. In this training, we go, I will explain the definition of a computer, the functions of a computer, the types of computer, desktop computer, and the parts of desktop computer. With all that said, so we will start with the definition of a computer and I will start by saying that the definition of computer varies for the simplest and shortest way for defined computer now. Computer is a programmable device that stores, ascends, retrieves and processes data. This now the simplest way because it gets five keywords them when a, a programmable device a stores, sends, retrieves and process. We say computer na a programmable device. As we all know, we get computer programmers them working to working on computer programs at the back end. So where you put a data into the computer for do calculation. For example, you say one plus two. The computer with even intelligence they come out with the answer of three because it don't already program for tell for give the output say whenever person asks them what one plus two the answer for be three whatever the situation or the calculation may be they don't already program the computer for give you the correct answer another example as you the individual you can also run a program now the computer uh, your computer for execute certain commands certain commands in a sense if you get the knowledge and like you further up you get the skill for do a database or sql or um, the simplest of all when i access like we did you did do a, a database for a banking system we we'll take example with the banks then now so if you they do a database for a bank system you they always ensure see you make them possible whenever person run a query they forget the correct output of data we want for example you open a bank account with any of the banks them local banks them don't then don't give you account number that account number they will then give you always either the last six digits or the four digits now your account number they fully define you so whenever you go to that bank day for do any inquiries or any transaction that last six or four digits they would they enter then they see the full details of you means say that they if then they see you your first name your last name your address your account the money you get in your account and all other necessary information them and because they are already programmed in the database say whenever that particular information they reach now that output they now in the computer for key that not the program that not how you the program the computer at uh, two you we say the computer the store data so anything will you do now your computer and you know see you know one for loss or accidentally delete them you just get for save them and the way you the save them that means say you the store them. and also this would take example also with the banking system where you get um a visa card or a credit card that particular information where you the go for google for me they open your account for you that bank they, they always receive or store that information there for future use so whenever you want anything regarding your account now from that data where they don't store now they then they know all the information about you and then go regard them if they go um accept any transaction we they do based on the data we then get for you or they not going to accept the transaction for two so for any information we you know say you know want for loss or accidentally delete now your computer any kind of way you just get for a store so three we use computer for send data now 
these are one way we make communication don't easy efficient and effective nowadays in the early days if you want to send a letter to another a person or document like um, for example you did in a salon and you want to send documents or letter to your relative with the overseas either Canada Australia America or England in the early days what you need for do you they write the letter or you get your document you they go to an post office then you they pay the post office for go deliver the letter or documents to the person who you want for go deliver the documents to then the post office then go do the young part for make the person get the document or letter now either canada australia england or america so in those days depending on the person a destination it will take a week or more for make the person or let's say your relative for making get that particular information there so let's say if that information that emergency information when you face the person will get them and how accurate you face the person will get them but with the help of computer nowadays you can do that in a few minutes without you know with that time day again so thing will for be in the in the early days we will take you something like more than one week now with the help of computer you they achieve that particular goal day within a few minutes so let's say you want to send a letter or you want to send a document to your relatives all you need to do with your computer you allow the you you input the data where you want then you can just send them within a few minutes the person don't get your message and we now go do we now go get any further discussion so the 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 computer very useful for send data and now we they come with to the the retrieve so just like how we say earlier this is not just the reverse of our, the sending of data so with the retrieve back you be able to retrieve certain information them from the internet then just like the example back where i get where i give from the bank them also that na other way we use for retrieve information then the most key and most um outstanding the word part the definition na the process of data would they use computer for process information or raw data for make and be um meaningful or outstanding or readable at the end to other people them and the key component or key instruments for make this happen na the cpu when na the central processing unit na in get that capability for do the processing of raw data for making be understandable or readable to users now the functions of a computer the functions of a computer we get four key functions of a computer and the four functions they are then na the backbone of the computer what's in other four functions there one we get the we get the um, data inputs data outputs or storage and um, processing now there were are the four key functions of a computer so what are the data inputs and this now one key function of a computer and the key device for data input that a keyboard the keyboard na in with the use for input data into the computer example for prepare documents for send and receive mail and for do calculation and also much more data output data output for any data you input into a computer the computer the queue the output of the data where you input and the key device for data output 
na the computer monitor the monitor responsible for make you see a data with you the input na the with you the input and the output of the data with you input other output device can be printer data storage na the means at which you they store important things them for future use you can either store data on your computer internal storage or external storage device so whenever you need for whenever you get need for a particular data you it could be available for you so data you the store them either na your internal hard drive which means say the computer in your hard drive or you get an external drive as well it can either be a usb or cd rom or your external hard drive as well so all that they make work much more easier for you so the data processing the data processing na a core function of a computer for any tax we you give the computer the computer could process the data and give you a meaningful and understandable output of the data we you input and the key component for this process na the sensor processing unit these na the four key functions them of a computer so in the next video we will discuss the types of computer we na the desktop computer the laptop computer the notebook hybrid which of course na the all in one um a tablet and also smartphone then device are all na part na part of the computer family so thanks for watching and not forget to for subscribe to our youtube channel and click the notification bell so whenever we update new video you could get the notification thank you and stay blessed